So let's say you have a situation where you have this thing and here you have this, uh, this carbonyl group. So two possibilities are there. One is, so let's say you have this, uh, it is a cyclopentadiene. So two possibilities are there. Either this product may form, that is this, uh, this CO2, COR, COR, this is the above side and this is called the exo product. This is the exo product. Exo with respect to this group, this, bar. this is the largest group, this is the small group. So we always define exo or endo with respect to the large group. Here the large group is this one, this is the small group because here you have two carbons, here you have only one carbon. Now this substituent is in the same side with this small group, but it is on the reverse side of this large group, so that's why it is called uh, we call it exo. Another possibility is the endo. Endo means these two are in the same side. So the hydrogen is above here, the hydrogen is below. So this is endo. Now if you think about the steric hindrance, you will predict that this exo product will be the major product, but in reality, this endo is the major product. Why uh, this is the case? Right? Now, this can be explained really nicely if we consider the orbital interaction of the Diels order reaction. So, what is happening here? So, in the transition state, if you look at the transition state, you can see. So this is this is the transition state of the reaction where you have this interaction. You can see this is the interaction, and now if you have the carbonyl group below the plane, there is a possibility that this double bond which is forming here in the transition state you can have an interaction with this carbonyl group this carbonyl group it has a p orbital over here the pi star orbital actually and that pi star orbital can have an interaction with this developing double bond right so we can uh, we, we can show it in another drawing also let's say this is our Dying part and this is the this is the dinophile part and either this carbonyl group can have, can be this side over this side or another situation is the carbonyl group can be on the other side. So in the transition state, what is happening? You have this situation where you have interaction like this. This is the this is the six member transition state. Here also you will have a six member transition state. But the difference between these two is you can see this group is away from this side. This group, this carbonyl group is is close to this side and away from this side so this this developing pi bond has no uh, no interaction with this carbonyl group but when this this carbonyl group is on this side you can see this p orbital is perfectly positioned over this pi orbital say and it has a secondary interaction over here so this is called secondary interaction and this secondary interaction stabilizes the transition state and that's why the reaction will lead to this product Okay, now another example of this of this phenomenon called the Indo Indo rule can be seen over here. So you can see uh, if you have two cyclopentadiene, they dimerizes. The product can have two possibilities. So. The product can have two possibilities and 
either this can be above the plane so this is one possibility where it is fake zone another possibility is the endo and this is the endo product you can see these two double bonds are on the same side and here again you will get the endo product as your major product over the exo product and if I, if I draw the transition state for this reaction so you can see so let me draw the transition state so this is one component and another component maybe so it is like this sorry just so you can see this is the another component now if this is the transition state You can see this is the transition state and in this particular case you can see this group, this particular group, this is away. This double bond is away from this developing double bond and this will result in the exo product which is uh, not the case in this reaction but another situation can be there. So, let's say this is the case where you have this double bond over here and this double bond over here now you can see if this pi electron cloud this and this one so if these two interact then you can see the developing pi bond and this one they are perfectly oriented to uh, cause a secondary interaction and that will lead to this endo product. So, in every case where you have a set of pi orbital, it may be a carbonyl group, it may be another pi bond, or anything like that, where you have a possibility of secondary interaction. Always, uh, this, uh, this, this case that is the endo product will be the major product. So, this is a very important feature of the deal solder reaction or the 4 plus 2 cyclization reaction.